Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. The Twins win. They win over the Rays 6-5. to five. They also take the series against the Rays at least 2 to nothing. They're looking for a sweep tomorrow. It is a good day to be a Twins fan, as you saw in the game. Luis Arise hits his first career Grand Slam, his third home run of the season, and things are really looking good for the Twins. I was not impressed with what the Twins put out there today, lineup-wise, you know, pitching-wise. Was not great, but the Twins found a way to get it done, and I think that speaks to how well the Twins are as a team. They're fun to watch. They're a good team. Uh, and I think we're we're in for something this year. You know, um, yeah, they haven't played the greatest amount of baseball in the last two or three weeks. They've they've split some series with, you know, Kansas City with Detroit, lost some series in there to the Yankees, but they are sticking around and beating good teams when they can. You know, like they are sticking around. They won a series against the Jays and now the Rays. So really, they're doing they're doing good. And you can't even say that they're only playing bad teams because. They just took two series out of the last three. So really, really solid. Twins win 6-5. They are now 35-26. and 26. I think they were still three games up in the division. Cleveland is winning against Oakland, and they are above 500. So a little bit, I wouldn't say scary. We're still winning by three games, but this next series against Cleveland is going to be big, you know, in, in next, uh, next week or two weeks, a week and a half from now. So... That's really good. Uh, the Twins are down 3 nothing here in the first inning. And it looked all but over. Chichi Gonzalez was not great today. Um, we'll talk about him in a little bit. But the third inning is when the Twins came alive. And they they popped off, I guess you could say. Let's go to the third inning and I'll tell you how it happened. In the third inning, Gilberto Celestino singles to lead things off. Nick Gordon walks. And Jeffers walks on a full count. Nick Gordon walked on four pitches. And then Luisa Rise got a fastball 2-0. And you know he was uh, swinging at least solidly. I'm not going to say he wasn't up there to hit a home run. But uh, he got a fastball that he could handle. And he hit it a long way. His last home run that he hit, by the way, um, it was also on a 2-0 count. And it was a changeup. I don't remember when that was. But it was a changeup. And he hit it pretty much in the same spot. So really good to see Luis Arise hitting as well as he is. He is my favorite player outside of Royce Lewis and Byron Buxton, of course. But I got to say, Luis Arise is amazing. Uh, the Twins also got a walk with Polanco. And then um, a weird play happened where the ball... Hit Miranda hit it, and it went off the fence that Byron Buxton runs into all the time, uh, right where the bullpen is, and the ball like got stuck there. And that was really interesting. They said it was a double, and Miranda was thrown out going to third. But the Rays challenged it, and they wanted it to be a ground rule double, whereas both so we, the run would have been taken off the board, but there would have been runners on second and third with nobody out. Max Kepler would have singled them both home in the next at-bat anyway. So, honestly, in my opinion, you take the out for the run. I, I don't know why the Rays challenged it, in in my opinion. But let me know what you guys would have thought. Uh, weird, weird play. Um, yeah, do you, do you challenge it? Or even if you win the challenge, do you prefer the ground rule double there where nobody out but you give up the run, the run goes back on base, or do you take the run for the out? Let me know. Uh, so that was a really good inning. The Twins got another one in the sixth. Pitching was not great. Let's cover that. Pitching was not great. Uh, Chichi Gonzalez only went four innings tonight. Eight hits, three earned runs, did strike out three, didn't walk anybody. Just isn't isn't the greatest pitcher in the world. I'm I'm not super impressed. That's about it. That's all I got to say about that. Like I just I I'm really worried about Sands going tomorrow too. We don't have some great pitchers, but. McGill came in, did good, um, got his one inning, gave one hit, but got out of it. Thielbar gave up a run, but got out of the inning. Um, Cotton did well, Duran did well, and Pagan did well. Like, that's what I do like to see is 
those are, are some of our best pitchers right there. And they all pitched well. Like, yeah, there was an error in there. There's a lot of run to score. You know, field bar wasn't perfect today. But they pitched well. They pitched one inning, kept that pitch count low so they can, they can you know, take one day off, pitch again. But they all did solid, and they got out. That is what we needed today. Um, and then they they did their job. They they had 10 strikeouts total. They looked good. I mean, I don't know what else you could have asked for, really. Pitching-wise, they... The hit, the the bats got enough runs, whereas pitching, even as they you know fell through a little bit, they still did good. Um, hitting wise, though, Arise is batting three sixty seven, five for three. He was batting three sixty nine, but then uh, got out in that last at bat, struck out. Doesn't strike out very often, but uh, he did strike out there. He did score a run, and of course had the grand slam, his first of his career. He is. Uh, really, really good. He is he has an OPS of almost 900. He is so good. Polanco went two for three today with an RBI as well. Big two out hit from him. I think that was in the sixth inning there. Uh, Kepler uh, went two for four today. And I mean, that top part of the lineup, do some quick math. That is eight plus eight, 16. Um, so the top four hitters today went eight for 16. That is pretty good. You're going to win a lot of games doing that. And they did. They they obviously won this game. Sanchez over three. Larnack over three. Larnack almost had a home run. That was a little sad. Uh, Salcino went two for four. Had his first double down the left field line. Uh, that was kind of crazy. If you see his hit chart, everything is to the right side. And then had a left field double today. So that was great. He's a really good player. Still batting 344. Gordon went one for three but got hurt. Um, Urshela... And Buxton came in, even though they both had days off. And Jeffers scored two runs, um, did get walked once, but went 0 for 3. So, um, really good day for the Twins, though. Even though, um, they, like I said, this was not the greatest lineup that they put out there. They rested Buxton. They rested, rested Correa. They rested Urshela. Like, I have never seen a team rest their best players as much as the Twins do. And it really frustrates me, but they win games most of the time. And, <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm sick, so sorry about that. But, um, yeah, I've never seen this before. It's crazy. They literally sit Buxton, like, every two days. Correa gets a bunch of days off, too. It's like, the dude has hit six home runs in his last six games. Correa has four or five home runs this year, and they sit him. I don't get it. But... It's really good to see a rise. I mean, there's such confidence with a rise. Like, that's what I want to say. There is such confidence with a rise. It's like, you know, when he's up at the plate, he's probably going to get a hit. He will get a hit more times than he will not. That's crazy. And Polanco's been swinging a hot bat. Kepler's been swinging a hot bat. Celestino's really good. Miranda is streaky, but he can do some damage. Like, the players are not always great. Like, I don't have the confidence when Miranda comes up that I do with a rise, but in certain situations, these guys know how to hit. They aren't trying to do too much. And I think that's the biggest thing is like, they are just doing well enough to win games. And that's what you need to do. You need to win games. Are they the best team in the league? No, they play a lot of bad teams. Yeah, but they're winning against good teams. They're playing good baseball and that's what matters. So boys, I'm going to go uh, probably take a nap because yeah, I don't feel good. So Hopefully you guys enjoyed the game. I did. It was fun. Let's take the series sweep tomorrow.